advantage from their angles before contesting the point. Virginia Tech, congratulations. You do move on to losers finals. But of George Mason, Shenandoah, and Virginia Tech, the three teams remaining, who will make it to Game Mason? As the kills just keep They begin on to fall rolling. like flies. It's George Mason's comp that wants to play the long fight, and they do it. GMU is going to move on to the grand finals at Game Mason. All right, hello and welcome everyone to Game Mason. This is the Overwatch LAN Finals, and if you are new to seeing these teams play, I'd like to introduce the lineup for you. Starting for George Mason University, it's going to be your main support, your captain, Zap Pat. Directly next is back, but everybody's falling. That's going to be it. Amir with a bash and takes the win on Game Mason. Three. Uh, my name is Patrick Martin. My in-game name is Zappat. How did you get into playing video games competitively? I'd say it started when I got my PC in like sophomore year of high school. And I began to play games with my friends. I was like, you know, this is fun, but I feel like I want more with this. So I looked through the path of being on a team and being on stuff like that. And really started like around freshman year of college. What game do you play? play Overwatch. I'm also like the captain slash manager of the team, make sure everything gets going smoothly. How do you feel about your team this season? We've got a lot of shakeups. Beginning of the season, we had like three new uh, starters on the team, but I really like our odds. We've put in a lot of good work, and I think we have a great shot at performing this tournament. My name is Kara Chiswell, also known as Big Oat. How are you involved with Game Mason and GMU? Um, I am the social media manager for GMU Esports, and I'm doing media coverage here at Game Mason. Who are you to Pat? I am Pat's girlfriend, as well as coworker and colleague within GMU Esports. My role as a social media manager really helps to put a nice like, finishing touch on the archive that the team gets to look back on of their time on the team. I think being able to go back um, and have a nice archive to look at and um, remind them of all that they've accomplished this semester, whether it be a video of them winning or all their scores. Um, I think that's what I bring to the team is that sense of unity and accomplishment for what they've done. What does this tournament mean to you? Uh, it means quite a bit. It is our only lane that we're really doing every year and because of that it's like we want to put on a good show for everyone here as well as we want to be able to win and let people have pride that GMU is the one that is on top. What drives you to win? The hate of losing, to be honest. I, every single time we've lost a match or anything like that, it's been devastating. Because <laughs> most times it's like we feel like we can do better and that feeling is one of the worst feelings in the world for us. What do you think of the competition this tournament? It's some quite tough competition. We've lost to Shenandoah this semester already, but it was un under certain circumstances that did not lead us to succeed. But I like our odds a lot better this time. JMU is looking like some real tough competition. I haven't seen much of them playing, but from what I've seen, like their level of practice, seems like they're gonna be some really tough opponents. William Murray's a bit of a dark horse for us because what we've seen from them is just like results in one of the tournaments and they've they've got a couple of losses, but it's just some pretty good teams. So they're, so they're a real like obscure, don't know how we're gonna do against them kind of team. Is there a specific team you're most worried about? I'd say the nerves are probably the most in Shenandoah just because we got to correct our wrong that we had earlier this season. I think I'm nervous, obviously less nervous than the team themselves. Um, I, I understand that they've worked really hard this semester um, and I think that they are just phenomenal. Um, of course they're going to be nervous, um, but I have full faith that they're going to do amazing. Yeah, we can. 
We're not done, but we got to adapt if we do want to win. It's still nerve-wracking because it is round robin. Um, so if we lose the next one, if any team wins more than two, then we struggle to make the finals, I believe. I still feel pretty good about it. I, I, think, me, I, I think we can win this, yeah. Got our first win for the tournament, so expecting a lot more, hoping to get a lot more. But, uh, you know, we'll have to see. We try to get old charge here. And, um, great pick from Brand, uh, working together with their sojourn here to finish that kill on the tracer. Um, Shenandoah still on the cart though, that cart is still moving. GMU is gonna have to respond eventually. That pack going down once again as the high noon comes out. The Earth Shatter and the Katsune Rush. Ults are flying back and forth. Big stick on the high under the high noon. Um, it is blocked by the Katsune um, and the beat and all the ults are flying. And unfortunately, that's going to be it. Ah, uh, that is going to be it. That is a Shenandoah University win for the night. I think they worked really hard. Um, obviously, I'm a little disappointed in how it went. Um, but I'm really proud of them regardless. Um, they're probably my favorite team. Those are my guys. So I'm happy for them, um, for all the work they put in, even if it wasn't the win that we hoped for. How would you say this game impacts your future? Um, I'd say it probably has a little impact, but probably not too much, because we still have like three different leagues that we're competing in this semester. And this is kind of just one tournament that we did on the side, but it's a as much as it was a big event, it wasn't what we're pinning our season to. We still have other things we're looking forward to do, what would have been nice to win and get to the finals. If we could have gotten one, two more practices a week, we would have been in a lot better shape. But unfortunately, we didn't get that. We had a couple, like, in between, between yesterday and today, we had a couple adjustments that we made online, but weren't really able to do much with the limited time we had. I think I'm looking for them to just take every loss as a learning experience. Um, obviously, they saw things today that they haven't seen before, um, different compositions, different teams, different players. So I'm just hoping that they learn something from it, even if that means that they even make the tiniest of changes um, or make no changes, uh, that they learn something about themselves um, and still found something to get out of it at the end of the day. Obviously, I'm upset that we didn't win. It's never fun to have to post that, especially at our land, we lost. I'm going to post it just like I would any other result, cheer for the winning team, um, and then it's just another memory in the scrapbook um, that we can look back on and move forward from and use it for why we're going to win next year. wants to end this here and now. Ender's getting another pick for himself, too. They keep having to rotate back to the cart. JMU oh, says not oh, yet. Silverstein getting two picks. Oh, can he get another? It's the loose oh my Tracer. Doom. No way. Oh, Shenandoah man. ending that in such a fashion. <laughs>
But it is Shenandoah, our victors today. It's, it's been exciting. It's, he's grown a lot as a player, and it's interesting seeing how he puts a lot of prep into it. A lot of time. <laughs> what are your hopes for the future? That he's happy That's and successful thing. at whatever he chooses to do. <laughs> yep, pretty much the same thing. <laughs>